twenty years since we lost Freddy. I want to break free. I want to break free. These are the days of our love. Float in the swiftness of time. So much gone. So much gone. Yeah. Inside my heart is breaking. My makeup may be flaking, but my Spike Edney plays guitar and keyboard for Queen. Joined them in 1984. Spike, hi. Good morning. Just tell us about Freddie. Oh, Freddie. Well, uh, obviously a very controversial and contradic- contradictory character. Um, very talented. Um, very flamboyant. That's the public <laughs> face of Freddie. But uh, also very quiet and uh, quite reclusive at times as well. Contradictory. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you see him on stage and he's master of uh, his world and you sit down and have a cup of tea with him and he's sort of very quiet and uh, um, and likes peace and quiet as well. I'm just thinking, 84, when was Live Aid? Were you Live Aid or was that...? Yeah, um, yeah. Live Aid was 85. I, I joined uh, yeah. when the Works Tour was on, which was Radio Gaga and I Want to Break Free time. Right, so... You didn't do Live Aid? Yeah. Oh, you did? Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I'm being stupid. Yeah, yeah. No change there then. Right, so at Live Aid, when he was giving that performance that we all remember so much, um, which, which electrified the whole event, and you were, you were playing with him, were you thinking, oh, this is, this is good? Well, the thing about Live Aid, it, up until Queen went on the stage, which I think was about four o'clock in the afternoon, um, it had all been quite sort of easygoing, um, quite gentle. It was a bit more like a sort of Sunday picnic out there. And... Um, once we got on the stage and started the medley and the reaction, the, the crowd almost sort of like got to its feet and the, the atmosphere changed. And we all looked at each other and went, uh-oh, something's happening here. And then, of course, the Radio Gaga moment when uh, the hands go up. Um, it seemed that it was the first time that the whole of the stadium were engaged in the music, whereas up until then they'd all been sitting around, you know, having you know, quite a pleasant time. All of a sudden, they were at a, a rock show. Yeah, amazing, and, amazing. And we could tell it was different then. Yeah, you could tell it was different. He just, he had it in the palm of his hand, didn't he, that day? Well, he always treated um, a stadium full of people like his own personal guest at a tea party. <laughs> and he was a great writer, too. Um, well, they were all great writers. I mean, they're, one, they're probably the only band in history where all four members have uh, written number one hits um, so they were you know very fortunate in that they had a wealth of material and um, and um, back in the early days I think people used to fight to get their records on the always, on an album always you know? the best way because that's a great quality control for the very highest and the best songs to get on Spike so, Gr- great talking to you thanks very much okay well we're doing some shows this weekend in Clapham and next weekend in Guildford so Queen fans 